welcome you as well to the first international <coughs> transatlantic workshop on uh, multi-scale cancer modeling. And first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Tom Dysbrook for his dedicated work concerning the preparation, the organization of the event, and his passion for uh, the preparation uh, of all <coughs> administrative issues and the settling of a number of uh, uh, practical problems. Uh, I'd like to welcome, to thank uh, Dan Callahan from the National Cancer Institute uh, for his dedication to this endeavor. Uh, Elias Jakovidis of the European Commission for the enthusiasm of the European Commission. Uh, to all the speakers, Corinne Venner and her colleagues in European Union and the United States, the audience and everybody that uh, has contributed to the organization of the event. At this point, I'd like to make uh, a short, uh, some short scientific comments concerning the fundamentals of uh, multi-scale cancer modeling. Uh, either explicitly or implicitly, multi-scale modeling of living matter and in particular of cancer is based on the fundamental postulate that uh, cancer, apart from a special temporal natural phenomenon, uh, apart from a disease, is a special temporal natural phenomenon, and as such, it should be amenable to mathematical and to computational description. The primary goals of the multi-scale cancer modeling could be summarized as follows. The integration of the ever-increasing experimental and clinical knowledge concerning cancer gaining insight into a plethora of biomechanisms and their interactions constituting the strongly multi-scale natural phenomenon of cancer, the stimulation of the emergence of new ideas regarding uh, cancer treatment and cancer prevention, the provision of quantitative descriptions of cancer dynamics, the supporting of drug, drug discovery, the identification of treatment windows in the generic setting, the optimization of the design of clinical trials, and the optimization of the interpretation of clinical trials, and last but not least, uh, the support of uh, personalized cancer treatment through the in silico experimentation, which is uh, actually the main theme of the emergent scientific, technological, and medical domain of in silico oncology. Uh, there are two sine qua non conditions for the eventual translation of cancer models into the clinical practice. The first one dictates that well-designed, thorough, and strict clinical validation of the models within the framework of clinical trials has to take place before uh, the translation of the models into the clinical practice. <clears throat> the second one dictates the satisfaction of all legal and ethical restrictions pertaining to the use of medical data for both validation purposes and the clinical applications of the, model, <clears throat> of the models. The hypercomplexity of the special temporal natural phenomenon of cancer, as well as of the criticality of the cancer disease, dictate the joining of research forces on an intercontinental level, intercontinental networking, and the globalization of cancer research. Within this context, the National Technical University of Athens, in collaboration with a number of distinguished research institutes, worldwide, has initiated a series of workshops concerning in silico oncology. Uh, the third and last one took place in Istanbul, in Turkey, about a month ago, and uh, this series of workshops uh, has been technically uh, supported by the Engineering in Medicine and Biology Society of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Just to give a hint of inspiration, I would like to suggest that our joint efforts to quantitatively understand and simulate uh, the natural phenomena of life could be seen as the continuation of uh, the well-known book written by Isaac Newton, 
of which the title is The Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy. Uh, I think that it's time that we started working for the second part of this book concerning living matter, because up to now, uh, neither the uh, Newton's book nor the amendments made by quantum mechanics physicists, uh, uh, Einstein and the modern uh, high energy physicists have addressed living matter. Uh, and definitely cancer must be one of the chapters or the sections of the book. Last but not least, I would like to point out that apart from the many aspects of uh, the development of multi-level models of cancer and other diseases as well, uh, we should always bear in mind that the central goal of our joint efforts is to achieve less pain and more life for the suffering cancer patients. Thank you very much and enjoy the workshop.